Diana Krall washroom, uh, I'm sorry, Diana Krall Plaza washroom. <laughs> Can't be right all the time. This isn't your typical debate at Nanaimo City Council. There is, however, the somewhat typical grandstanding for the TV cameras, sarcasm for sarcasm's sake, and witty remarks to emphasize intelligence. At two o'clock in the morning, stand uh, outside Mambo's Pizza, where there's a long lineup and a lot of people are not there for pizza, I can tell you. But when the topic on the table is a public toilet, the bowl runneth over. And we're spending money like drunken sailors, $100,000 for a toilet. I can't believe this. Where's the outrage? All those in favor. In the end, it was 8 to 1 in favor of spending about $100,000 on a public toilet. <laughs> manufactured in Oregon. Now you're the only one that seems to have a problem with this. I know, I seem to have problems with all kinds of stuff that involves spending copious amounts of money. Cheap skates? I know, stop it you guys, stop it. This proposed luxury loo would be right here in Diana Kroll Plaza in the center of downtown Nanaimo. The price tag, as we've mentioned, is $100,000 with an additional $10,000 per year to maintain it. I think I can buy one at, at um, Home Depot for $125, bucks, so uh, there's a lot of other things I would like to see that money spent on. $100,000 for a number of facilities downtown, I take it? One. For one, that sounds like a lot of money for one toilet. Got a hundred thousand dollar loo. I don't know. Sounds like something from Victoria. Funny, he should say that. <laughs> Victoria does have one of these, and it's award-winning. I think we're going to have to mount this on the outside of the loo. <laughs> Voted Canada's best public washroom in 2012 by Sintas. Portland, Oregon has seven of these units, and for Nanaimo Mayor John Rattan, it's a matter of not reinventing the wheel. You can look back at other projects that were that have been tried, and people always thought they could build a better mousetrap, and they went to it and spent a lot of time and money and so on. I won't even get into fast ferries. And um, their end result was it just didn't work. Yes, it's convenient to have a public washroom, especially if it's well maintained and enjoyable to use. When you gotta go, you gotta go. But did you know that 324 tickets were handed out for public urination and defecation last year? That means people are actually going to the bathroom like right there and and maybe over there. I think that uh, if there's a problem there and that with what they're trying to do with the downtown, if they're trying to improve it, then they need to at least have a strategy. I don't know if $100,000 is the right strategy, but I don't think it's necessarily the the wrong one either. And honestly, I don't want people taking a dump all over the place, so. I guess if it's needed, then stop people peeing in the streets. There's so much talk that goes on, so much rhetoric. We need this, we need that, we need it square, we need it round, and it goes on and on and on. These are ready, they're built, they work. Let's just buy it and get on with it. Because and if be we sit done. around and yeah. get on with it, otherwise we're gonna have all kinds of committees struck, and people are going to have all kinds of plans. There'll be color choices they'll want. Do we want a half moon on the door or not? But half moons aside, there's more value here than stopping people from using the streets to relieve themselves. Families who use the downtown core, tourists, and anyone with a specific medical condition will benefit from a clean, accessible washroom 24-7 in the heart of our city. No one seems to be denying that. In Nanaimo, I'm Kate Bergen.